What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I am getting sick. I'm here with Abby. I woke up yesterday with a sore throat and it hurt all day, but it wasn't terrible. This morning I woke up still with a sore throat. Not as bad, but now I'm all congested. So I'm getting a little bit sick. It's good that tomorrow and the next day are our days off. So I'm planning on just taking it easy, resting, and playing lots of Dragon Quest Builders too. But we have two really, really awesome trades so far. So I mentioned um, two vlogs ago that a guy was going to trade on his Vita collection. And then I mentioned yesterday that he ended up not coming in. Well, he came in this morning. So we got all that. And then we have one other trade, which is super cool. It's an item for the collection, though. But I've never seen it before. Let's take a look. So first up, we have these like vinyl Nightmare Before Christmas figures. We have this one here, it's got a few different ones, pretty cool stuff. And we have these Venomates, Vinomates, I don't know how you pronounce it, but there's Zero, there's Jack, and then there's like Jack with the ripped apart Santa Claus outfit. And then we have this little Vita case. There's no Vita system, he's keeping that for remote play with his PS4, but he had this case here. <clears throat> we also got this really weird PlayStation branded like knife set and with cutting board. <laughs> I have to imagine this is something that they would give out to like GameStop district managers at some meeting. I've seen lots of items kind of branded like that. So it's probably what that is. He just gave us that for free. We got this little grip for the Vita. It's a Japanese one, but it's made by Hori and uh, gives you like the actual triggers and stuff, which is kind of cool. And then we have a little stack of DS games, Aliens Infestation, Resident Evil Deadly Silence, Contra 4, Pirates of the Caribbean, Worms 2 Open Warfare, Bust and Move DS, and Metal Slug 7. And then we also have some loose Vita games. We have The Amazing Spider-Man, Mortal Kombat, Walking Dead Season 2, Corpse Party Blood Drive, Jack and Daxter Collection, Sly Cooper Collection, Rayman Legends, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed, Rayman Origins, Silent Hill, and Borderlands 2. And then we have Hue, which is a limited run game. This one is factory sealed, and he has it in this little Ziploc with the cards. And we have the first Walking Dead for Vita, Resident Evil Revelations 2. I was having trouble finding it, and it wasn't on price charts, and then I realized it is a Japanese version, so this did not come out physical in North America, so he imported the Japanese copy, which is kind of cool. It came out digitally, but, you know, if you want a physical copy, you gotta get this one, and it is not region locked, so you can play it. Then we have Gravity Rush, Killzone Mercenary, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Drive Girls, <clears throat> Dragon's Crown, Senra Kagura Shinobi Versus Freedom Wars, which this one is technically just game only. And this one, it looks like this might have, at least according to price charts, I didn't do too much research, but it only shows the limited edition version. So I don't know if this came by itself. That might just be the one from the limited edition. I don't know. Then we have Mario Kart DS, Ultimate Mortal Kombat for the DS, and then Axiom Verge Multiverse for the Vita. The box is really rough. And also Shantae, Half Genie Hero for the Vita. Also, box is pretty rough. But that is some really, really cool stuff. All that came from the one guy with the Vita stuff. And he is going to be bringing in the rest of his collection, uh, maybe a little bit at a time. He's taking the bus over here because he does not have a car currently. And that's he said that's one of the reasons why he's trying to get rid of everything. So I don't know what he's going to bring next. I'm hoping it's the GameCube stuff because it sounded like he had some really awesome stuff. And then the other trade-in, and this is going to be for the collection. I've never seen one of these before. This is a black label copy of Halo 2, factory sealed. And then in this like blister pack with a sealed strategy guide as well. So this is very clearly like a Costco bundle type item, but uh, it's got this little sticker here. So obviously someone didn't just like put this together. There was a price tag there. Um, there's a sticker underneath the seal. Uh, covering the old barcode and they put their own on there. So I've seen lots of Costco bundles like this, especially like with Nintendo 64 stuff. Um, 
they'll have like a bundled system with an extra controller in a game or something like that. Or sometimes it's like an N64 game with the strategy guide, very similar to this. Um, the only thing I can find is that there's one currently posted on eBay. They're asking 300, which seems ridiculous and there's no sold ones. So um, looks like a factory sealed copy of Halo 2 by itself is worth about 30 to 40 and the guide is probably worth five bucks but I think it's really cool and this is going to be a little just a nice little thing to have in the collection just got some Pokemon stuff traded in here we have strategy guides for Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 and the trading card game it says it's supposed to come with the Venusaur card I looked through it's definitely not in there <laughs> unfortunately then we have a bunch of these action flips like lenticular Pokemon cards um, these things are really really cheap and then there's also a few of these like tops movie cards which are also pretty cheap and then we have some figures here these two are sealed psyduck is open and pikachu is open and there's a few other like extra things in here we have one of the little bouncy balls and then there is a raichu figure and another pikachu and then we have these two uh, sealed packs of battle figures, which are super, super cool. We have some of these at home in the collection already, so we're probably gonna hold on to these two as well. Um, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Jigglypuff, and Wigglytuff. We do not have these ones in particular. Um, I actually don't know which ones we have, but I remember buying these when I was a kid, and that's super cool. So the guy that brought this in is the same guy that has brought us factory sealed Pokemon packs before. Um, like older ones. <clears throat> so this is all stuff that he's just been finding in his storage and everything. So he brings us new things every now and then, but this stuff is really, really cool. So we have been getting a lot of stuff done today, guys, and I'm really happy despite being sick, of course. Um, we finished all the rest of the stuff we got from buybacks. It's all on the shelves, completely done. We also got, there was like a Wii bundle that was traded in a couple days ago, that's done. A couple smaller trades that have come in are done, and I'm on my way to UPS right now to drop off an Amazon shipment. And I've had this shipment going, I've been adding things to it here and there as I come across them, but um, it's been basically just sitting in the back office for a while now. So I just finished it up, got it all boxed up. Luckily, they only wanted me to ship it to the one warehouse, which does not normally happen. Normally, there's like 65 items. Typically, it would have me send it to like three, two to two to four different warehouses. So everything going to one is really, really nice. Makes it super easy. So I'm going to go drop this off, come back here, and uh, just keep working on inventory and getting stuff done. Just got these two games here traded in. Wally, -E, as you can see, is a $10 game. I don't know why this one doesn't have a sticker. Abby. But this is an $8 game or so. This is why it doesn't have a sticker. <laughs> Can I have it? I had a bit of a typo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so where's the real, the right one? <laughs> it's being printed. So Abby's printing now. This is an $8 game. Um, typically this is the kind of stuff we're passing on. The only reason I took them is because it was a little kid that brought it in with his dad and they just wanted to pick out another game. So they traded these in and they picked out some other PS3 game. I don't even know what it was, but um, a racing one. some racing game. But we are getting some stuff done guys. Um, we had this little bag, you guys remember, with like the Pokemon balloons, so I'm working on that. And then we also have this stack, which are the games we picked up from the, the Goodwill computer store on our trip. So, <laughs> you gotta do those as well. And we're just gonna be getting some more stuff out and clearing up some space back here. It already looks a little bit better. Before, the whole TV was, you know, closed in with stuff, but we're making progress. So most of you guys by now should know that we have this Neo Geo MVS cabinet here at the store. We have Bust a Move in it. That's the game that we leave in it because it seems to be the most fun. Um, and I talked a little bit before about someone finding another MVS 2 slot cabinet at a garage sale. And we just made the deal for it. So we opened up a package, a big trade package or a collection package on the vlog not too long ago. Sorry for my sniffling, I'm very congested. Um, but we opened up this package and it had like Gun Knack, Turtles, Tournament Fighters, Battletoads, Double Dragon, DuckTales 2. So yesterday we sold the Tournament Fighters and today I traded the other three straight across for another two slot Neo Geo cabinet. It's a different style than ours. 
you can see on the back of ours it's like carved out and it's shaped the other one is just flat like straight down the back and it's a two slot machine and it included these as well so we have a japanese version of samurai showdown we have shock troopers we have metal slug and then we have the paperwork for the machine another one of these inserts and he said he also has the inserts for metal slug and shock troopers and so we're going to be getting the machine either on thursday or saturday luckily he's able to bring it to the store so we don't have to worry about picking it up but it's going to go right here where the where this is um so the wii u kiosk is going to have to go home unless we can sell it if anyone local is interested in this wii u kiosk it does not include the system that is one of my personal ones from home we have it priced at 700 if anyone local wants this everything works it doesn't have a key we can open it with the key we have and you know we can show you guys it all works and everything but if anyone local is interested i will do 400 bucks for this thing um if you're interested and you are local or you're at least close enough to drive and come pick it up please let me know uh, because it's honestly just going to go home and sit in the garage and we're going to forget about it and that's going to kind of suck. So if anyone's interested, let me know, but we have another Neo Geo coming. I'm so excited. The Neo Geos are super cool. There's actually one more cartridge in it as well, and that is the multi-cart, the 161 in one. So I'm very excited. The multi-cart is most likely what we're going to leave in it. We're going to have the, we're going to have the bust a move in one and the multi-cart in the other. And then these three, and this is, none of the stuff is for sale. This is all for the store um, slash collection. So we have these, well, sorry, the Samurai Showdown Japanese cart will be for sale here at the store, but everything else we're going to be keeping. So we have these, the multi-cart, the bust a move that's in there, and then we have some soccer game, which I think is right here. Oh no, that's King of Fighters. That does not belong to us. That belongs to our buddy. So, there. We have Super Sidekicks 2, which, not the best game. So, I'm very excited. Like I said, it'll be here Thursday or Saturday. We will, of course, film and show it to you guys once we get it, but I'm very excited. Alright guys, so we have a package here that came in earlier today. We forgot to open it. Um, this is coming from Christian. Uh, from Texas. We're not exactly sure what is in here. Um, Abby has a sticky note with all the packages, like all the info written down for the packages that we are expecting, and this is not on the list, so we're going to open this one up and see what we have here. Everyone hates when I cut towards me with the box cutter, but I don't care, because I do what I want, you know? Okay. Do that. So we have a lot of cardboard. Hmm. Do you know what it is now? Um. Yes, I do. So we are doing a trade. I was actually uh, this handling is the this one. Email trade. Yeah. yeah. Abby messed up. Cause you didn't communicate to me. No, everything's all good. We, one of the games that I was going to be sending, we actually, I didn't tell Abby, and it sold like 10 minutes before I asked if we still had it. Um, but we worked it out. I'm sending, I'm going to be, we should try to get that stuff shipped out before we leave tonight. Yeah. Um, but we worked out a very cool trade here. So we have three items in this box. First up is a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Four Swords for Game Boy Advance. Aside from like these little things on the front of the box there, it's in really, really nice condition. It is complete. Even got the baggie for the game. So that's awesome. This might actually be a condition upgrade for me. Not sure, we'll check though. And then here's some more bubble wrap for you, Abby. Good, I need it because you stole all of mine. I used all the orange bubble wrap in my Amazon shipment earlier. So, 
This is a fairly hard to find game, complete in box for N64. Tony Hawk 3. Even the cartridge is hard to find now, it's because it was the last N64 game ever made until 40 Winks and the re-release of this Star Wars one. This one is also complete with the baggie and everything. All the paperwork. This one is probably going to be a condition upgrade. Oh yeah, because I think ours has crush, like creasing on it. Yeah, this one has a couple creases over here, but and a little, little thing on the back there, but it's really not bad. And then, finally... So this one's cool because we just got... We just got a box of manual from someone else for it. So we're going to have a box of manual only, and then we're going to have a complete copy, and that is Conker's Bad Fur Day. And that looks nice. this is in really nice shape. There's a crease on the top, but that is it. So this one might also be a condition upgrade. That's in really, really nice condition. Let's see if we can... Point this up. Oh, there we go. We've got all the paperwork. And once again, with the baggy, come on. Very, very awesome. So, thank you so much. This is really awesome stuff. Not only, you know, possible condition upgrades for the collection, but awesome stuff for the store. So, we're going to try and get your package shipped out here tonight before we leave. And I'm going to go home and sleep for the next few days because I am sick. <laughs>